Good morning, my name is Jackie. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am coming to you today with a full day of keto eating-ish, keto-ish. Um, I know a lot of people have just started out their weight loss journeys or journey to health or different things that they're trying to do to just to, to feel different and feel better. And I just want to say you're doing really well. Keep up the good work and um, don't give up on yourself. I'm not going to give up on anyone. I'm not giving up on myself or you. So keep it up. Well done. Um, yeah, so I'm going to quickly briefly show you um, my morning. I'm packing my bag. I've just made myself a cup of coffee. I'm about to dash out the door because I'm a bit late. Um, I've got a cup of coffee to go in this very silly, um, hard to clean Starbucks travel mug. Don't buy it. Um, and first of all, just a cup of coffee. I've got, um, I don't, I, I don't do um, Keurigs and stuff. I haven't got room for one for a start, but um, um, I just do instant coffee. I do a splash of um, cream, a splash of almond and my favourite syrups. I've actually got a shipment due today of more syrups because I'm getting a little low. Um, but I found that too, cream on its own was a little bit too rich and a bit too heavy. So a splash and a splash does me really good. I pack my lunch, which I'll show you as I go to eat it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be able to dash out the door. So I had um, for my, just for my breakfast, those homemade crackers that I made and some pate. These are really good crackers. I'm definitely making these again. would totally recommend. I'll put all my recipes that I did this uh, for this week's prep below again. Um, but I really do recommend these crackers. They're pretty easy, fairly cheap and uh, taste pretty good. Um, so yeah, they're really enjoyable. And decided to skip a coffee and have green tea with lemon and ginger like a good girl, along with some of my colleagues. So, thumbs up for health. And then I just had a couple of these cheeses. However, that bottom one was rank. I think it was off. So, I threw it away. So, it ended up only having the one cheese. And then another snack in the morning was my 25 gram portion of mixed nuts. I put a little seasoning on these. Um, but, yeah, I have nuts pretty much every day. Then I had my celery and my little herby cheese before lunch. I am a big snacker, you may notice. Um, but yeah, I definitely like my snacks. But yeah, really, really tasty. And I got my delivery of my syrups today as well. Um, I got a blueberry and two lots of cherry because one was on sale for some reason. Um, they're really good. For, they're going to be used in things like Greek yogurt and quark to give it a nice flavour. And uh, cocktails, if I'm honest. Um, I got a parma violet, which I'd love... I used to love it. Parma violets like a sweet, sweet so in the UK. And I really like them, but obviously I don't eat them anymore. Um, and I'm going to see what I can do with it. I'm not quite sure. I might use it in baking to use cookies. I'm not sure. I also got a honeycomb, which I've had before. It's very nice in coffee. And um, just a salted caramel. That's my little treat for coffees and yogurts and stuff. And the obligatory gym shot. Did a 500 calorie cross trainer during my lunch. And then I had my lunch. And it was this um, stir fry that I meal prepped at the weekend. It was okay. I think it was only good because I put chilies in it and extra garlic in it. Um, I will link the recipe, but I won't be making this specific one again. But I definitely will make probably a stir fry again, but just not this recipe. It was just way too bland. And then another mid-afternoon snack, as I like my snacks. Eat some just some pickled gherkins just to get that saltiness in. So I'm now home, thankfully, and I'm having warming up some of one of my meal preps, which was the Thai cod curry and the um, curried mustard greens, might be also known as, I think, uh, sag, which I think is very similar to spinach. So I'm going to warm this up. And I have to say, this has now become my favourite keto dinner. It's, it does look unpleasant, but it's very, very nice. So... I definitely recommend trying this one. The recipe for this is going to be below if you want to give it a try. Well, that's me done for the day. Um, I also have forgot to show, I found a couple of cheeses in the fridge at work, the little mini, mini baby bells. I had a couple of those and a cup of coffee, which I didn't show. So it kind of rounded out my day to about 27 net carbs. And I do count calories as well, just to make sure I'm not being silly. Um, it's about 1800 calories. I, in terms of my carbs, I try to get some, between 20 and 30 grams of carbs a day. And my calories between 1,500 and 2,000 at the very top. So this kind of was a typical day for me. So I hope that's been helpful. Please, if you enjoyed, drop a like below. I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe, press the bell and all that jazz. Um, let me know how what you've eaten today. 
uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear because I'm always looking for ideas. And I will see you in the next one.